Harry slaps himself again, the royal mockery turning into a humiliating prophecy for Sussex. Six years ago, in an incredibly candid interview with journalist and author Angela the then Prince Harry, 30, spoke of his struggle to find a meaningful role for himself at the heart of what he called the goldfish bowl of royal life, and also admitted to having come close to failure on several occasions. Harry also made it clear that more than anything he was driven by his loyalty to his grandmother, the late Queen Elizabeth. Of course, it was a transformative event that would take place just over five years after that interview in September. Harry also said he wanted out of the royal family, and he didn't want the monarchy to be just a bunch of celebrities, as he said it's very possible that even Harry never could knowing how quickly things would eventually move inside. Four years. Unfortunately, it wasn't just that they wanted out. They also wanted to keep the titles and all that money. Harry claimed he didn't want his family to turn into a bunch of celebrities, so he decided to go out and marry an XYA girl, a former mattress actress, someone who is so obsessed with fame and likes to be called Duchess. And that's exactly why Harry has become such a greedy, money-hungry celebrity, the thing is, the royal family is not a bunch of ECs, they actually do important work. And Harry, who said he wanted this ordinary life, became a media celebrity. Starving celebrity, not at all a normal ordinary person. You can see it on her face whenever she's on camera. He likes that. Harry wanted all the attention of a celebrity guest, but he never wanted to do any real work now. The truth is, I think everyone in this world fantasizes about living a different life than the one we have, but maturity helps us realize that we are where we are and that most people don't fit in from the everything and destroy their family and bite the hand that feeds them. Just because we are born into a certain situation, most of us know that we just need to grow and make the most of the hand that has been dealt to us. Harry never really understood how grateful he should be for all the privileges he had of being in such a horrible family. I mean, his lyrics are horrible, Harry really had the best of both worlds. He had the title, money and security, but he never really got the chance, but it was never enough for him. I guess he succeeded and his wish came true. But I can't help thinking hard. Be careful what you wish for these days. Harry lives nearby and even manages to date a bunch of celebrities. I mean, it's even dumber than we thought if Harry doesn't realize this is his life now. Harry is so desperate to have a normal normal life, but also desperately clings to his royalty to pay for his high normal life. He loves having his cake and eating it too, and Harry did the opposite of what he claimed he would. She said she didn't want to be a celebrity, well, that's exactly what he's become now. Monarchists aren't just a bunch of celebrities and they shouldn't be. It is up to everyone to make the most of their position. So maybe Harry should just shake his ass off and put in a real day's work for once in his life. What does he actually do every day as a regular? his wife, a celebrity. I'm curious if Harry understands that literally billions of other people in this world have problems that we have to deal with, but we don't make a full-time career complaining about our problems. There's nothing stopping Harry from making an example of himself and showing everyone how he could use his royal position to make the world a better place. And if Harry really wanted to date years ago, he would have gone his own way, it's not like he had no connection. I mean come on, it's not like Harry should have tried very hard to find anything to do with himself, but no, he just had to go ahead and marry the star-hungry wife. Dot and now he invents things as he goes along. Harry didn't even understand what it would mean to step away from his position as a true worker. He thought they might be half real, and that would mean he and Meghan would just pick the engagement they were interested in, and it would create a sense of security. And of course the titles. If Harry was truly genuine, he wouldn't have given these children the dreaded titles that he says have been a problem for him his entire life. This is all just a bunch of hot air coming from him. You know, actually, to tell you the truth, I hate being a royal, but you know what? Also, 
I wouldn't use a title to try to impress others. Anyone who bows to him is a complete jerk and the reality of the situation is that Harry still accepts all money, titles and privileges, while also asking for security when he comes to the UK. He even took legal action against the British government as well as British taxpayers to reclaim his privileges. I'm not even thinking of buying this story. If Harry was really that unhappy, he could and would have backed off on his own without the support of his family. Although I don't think they would ever blame him for her choice to leave, that's how she did it. Harry could have worked hard for his charities and could have filled the full role for himself. Harry could have easily done it by remaining a member of the royal family, or he could have done it apart from his family. But unfortunately he was lured into a trap by someone who is incredibly evil and destructive and who clearly had other plans. You see, Meghan's main motivator is this constant need for attention as well as her hunger for money and status. There's nothing wrong with deciding that you want to change your life. The problem with Harry is that he is paying for his new life with the money he earned by destroying his own family. Harry also broke his family's trust and I don't think the relationship between him and the rest of the family can ever be the same. Obviously, Harry is a very unhappy person. He still believes happiness is somewhere in America, but it has to be outside of his family. He doesn't understand that he has to start looking within if he really wants to find happiness. It's a common answer, the way Harry does, but until Harry truly finds the happiness within, he'll keep looking in the wrong places. Harry also needs to get away from this wicked wife, not his family. Harry had more than enough money to live a nice private life. If that was really what he wanted, maybe he could go live somewhere quiet in a cottage on one of the estates and make a few public appearances now and then. The trade off would be for him to support himself, not with an allowance from the taxpayers or his family, but for some reason Harry didn't push hard for this life and Harry really couldn't have continued in life. Army. He couldn't pass the tests necessary for promotion and progression, and the only real option would be for him to do some sort of desk job he wasn't cut out for. If Harry had had a modicum of courage, he could have done a lot more for ex-servicemen in some way, not just talking about the winners, but more to do with how ex-servicemen deal with life outside the army. There are many people in different ways and of course Snake Megan came into her life and did anything for any cause where she would be the most important person in the spotlight at all times. Disappeared from his world. It's a real shame too, because there really was a time in Harry's life where I think he had the chance to provide valuable service to people in need. But sadly that is lost forever, and I am more than happy that the royal family continues the way the late queen ruled loyally. The royal family is respected by people all over the world, and this resentful Harry the Spare doesn't possess such a possession of loyalty. She just feels jealous if Harry's memoir was written before Meghan came on the scene. So maybe I could accept all this angst. What's the problem anyway? Being born on reserve, I never had a problem being conceived to give my only child a sister. Now the thing about that is like everything in life, you can all can choose to look on the bright side and be grateful. I think Harry felt gratitude before Meghan came into his life and Meghan. He resents the drop of a hat, and I think it changed his thinking forever. I still remember the Queen asking Meghan if she wanted to continue her career. In fact, I think the royal family encouraged that. Well, I guess she stayed an actress because she just tells a bunch of lies and is still obsessed with being a celebrity. It's a shame though that it couldn't have been otherwise. What an incredible addition to the royal family they would have made and I don't think Harry has a clue. I mean, he's not very smart, he's spoiled, and he has absolutely no life experience outside of royalty and celebrity culture. It's things like that that make me hate Harry even more than I already did. He needs to go and please take Meghan with him.